The union points out the SEPTA offices are closed and management is working from home, but their operators are still on the front lines and potentially at risk. Are you guys going to be trying to address some of their safety concerns here today? We're going to listen and hear their concerns. That's why we're here. We all have to work together, be in this together to get through this extraordinary circumstance. SEPTA GM Leslie Richards made a surprise visit to union headquarters late this afternoon amid allegations SEPTA is not doing enough to protect their workers. This is uh, about how we can come together keeping everybody safe and doing our part. At least 13 SEPTA workers have tested positive for the COVID virus. We all have families and we being out in the public with this pandemic going on, we may, some operators may take that back to their families. Bus operator Zach Chapman told us drivers were not supplied with any gloves, sanitizing wipes, or. The authorities not provide us with any masks at all, none whatsoever. If we have masks, we have to get masks on our own, our own personal masks. SEPTA says they have supplies and are trying to figure out where the disconnect is happening. Buses are also supposed to have riders enter through the back of the bus. They just had me enter through the back door. Um, I don't know if that's just for today or what, but yeah, they're like, we're not taking fares, just go through the back door. But our cameras caught people entering at the front near the drivers as well. Front or back, whichever, whichever way they want us to come in. The union is demanding hazard pay to keep Philadelphia moving, asking for double time during coronavirus duty. In Philadelphia, Wendy Saltzman, NBC 10 News.